Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on today. I'm Sandra Burnett. And if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome to Sandra Burnett Lifestyle. Well, as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to pray for Shanquilla Robinson's family. And we're going to pray that God will bring justice to Shanquilla Robinson. So if you're interested in this video, I need you to remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Now let's get into this video. The world has literally been moved and touched by what happened to Shanquilla Robinson. What a horrible thing that has happened. It's unbelievable. All I can do is shake my head that the heart of man has become evil. And do you not know that the Bible says that in the last days, the heart of men will become more and more wicked? And it seems like this past year has been a year of violence and a year of killing but we still serve a God that is able to move and to bring justice so today we want to take out time to pray for Shanquilla's Robinson's family because I know their heart is so broken and they I know that they can't believe that this has happened to their daughter their cousin their sister and I know that you know just to see the videos of what happened to her it really broke my heart because I was just how can this happen? How can people be so wicked? But then I also know that the Bible says that if we pray, God will move. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then God said he will heal the land. Our land needs healing. This is the reason why there's so much wickedness. But he also said that if my people would pray. And so if you're out there today and you're a child of God, or if you just want to join in in this prayer for the Shanquilla Robinson family, that there will be justice brought to her, then I want you to pray with me because I believe God and I believe in the power of prayer. So if you want to pray with me, I just need you to close your eyes and let's pray and let's believe God. I want to pray corporately. I purposely got on here to have all of my YouTube family to join in with me with prayer and to believe God. So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, God, because you are God that is more than able to do what we ask or think. Our heart is broken and our heart is sad for this terrible thing that has happened to our sister. But God, you are more than able to touch, to move, to bring her justice. So we pray for justice for Shanquilla Robinson. We pray for comfort for her family, Lord, that they will find comfort in your peace because you are the God of all comfort. So right now, God, move on her behalf, overturn the tables, bring her justice, all of the ones that did her wrong. Father, bring her justice bring them before the court system that justice might be given to her. In the mighty name of Jesus we know that you can and we know that you're more than able. Begin to bring healing in the hearts of your people. Father we come against the bitterness that tries to creep up in our heart as a result of this. Bring us your peace. Thank you for your hope. Thank you even for your compassion and your love for those that did this terrible crime. Father, let them find you. Let them find your peace and your love. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and turn themselves in that she may have the justice that she so deserves. Now your name be glorified even in this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in prayer for Shanquilla Robinson. Now we got to remember that God answered prayer. So with this prayer, let's expect God to do what he promised. And that is a God that answered prayer. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's continually pray for the family. Bye guys.